Hello, everyone, and welcome back to this episode of... Wait, well, you're not welcoming back to this episode. It's not like there was a commercial break, but welcome back to Darius Has Vlogs on the Darius Has Vlogs channel. Uh, I need to zip up my shirt because I'm a little too risque. Uh, this is a really late video, <laughs> so and I have to go take my doggies out in a second, so I won't uh, keep it for too long. I have a glorious mustache because I just shaved it, so all you can see is just a mustache, so I'm just looking... As manly as humanly possible. I'm also slightly inebriated because I have been, I got some alcohol and I've been drinking it since I got home and I haven't eaten anything at all today. Literally, I just realized I have not ingested, uh, I think I had like a piece of, uh, like a piece of popcorn chicken earlier, randomly. Um, and maybe a piece of candy? No, I didn't even have a piece of candy. I was like... I want a piece of candy, but I didn't get one when I left, and now I'm really not... I'm not in the mood to eat, though. I was like, I'm not hungry for anything, and so I don't know what I'm going to do, because I know I have to eat something before I go to sleep, because I'm going to be dying tomorrow, literally dying, and man, my forehead is shiny. I just took a shower, but yes, I don't know what I'm going to do. But yes, my forehead is shiny because I just took a shower, and I, shave, I shaved because I don't have to work until... I only have to work up until Tuesday, uh on next week so I was like I'm gonna go and shave so that I can get like a little bit of this going before Thanksgiving so I can see how much a goatee will go and then I was like I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this mustache and I'm gonna just be like because really at work they, they have come to just be like this mustache is so glorious that we can't tell them to cut it and like shape it up because it's too glorious and I was like thank you Thank you. And this camera is not straight. <laughs> I just, it just upset me, so I like slightly fixed it by fixing the tripod. Uh, but what happened today? I've had a great day. I am very talkative, as you can see, and that's why I like. I need to walk. Um, I need to walk away from my family because I am. I'm not drunk. I'm that perfect level where I'm just like I'm talkative and I want to talk about everything, and I feel good, and I'm just having a nice day. So this is when this is when you want to talk there, because he's, he's the best. He's nice and loud, so you can understand. You can hear what he's saying because I, I like I tend to mumble, uh, and he's also he has a response and just something to say to everything, and that is the best kind of Darius in my opinion. This is me at my meest when I am the most me and acting like I am. It's just like just enough to get those the the sharpest of inhibitions. Like I even I think I ended up just like sending friend requests to people that I know. I don't really talk to at work. I talk to them enough that, like, we're, we're considered cool with each other, but I would not actually send a friend request because I'm like, I don't know, we're not cool with each other like that. But actually, I only send it because I wanted to send it to this one girl that I think I kind of like. I don't know yet, though, so I was like, okay, best time to do this is when you're drunk and you're going to hate yourself later. So, here we are. <laughs> I'm not drunk, though. I am going to take a sip of my drink, though. <laughs> Can't drink on camera. That's illegal, is it? No, because I'm not. I'm not 21. Oh, I got a ticket today. I forgot about that. I'm. I, I like. I've been in a very good mood despite a lot of bad stuff happening. Like, well, work was hard. Uh, had to talk to my ex girlfriend. We were cool though. That's that was weird. It was like we never dated. It was like it literally was like had a conversation like one of the conversations we would have had like right before we started dating. It was. It was. A cool conversation. She's cool. We're cool, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't I don't really care. But, uh, yes, I got a ticket. I got two, actually, but not two. It's weird. Okay, so I'm leaving my first job, my, my second job, to go to my... I was like, I, I count my jobs. Job number one, job number two, job number three. Deli, I work at a deli where, where I cook chicken and all that. That's job number one. Job number two, I work at, like, a dentistry place. So that's job number two. Job number three is school. I just, I teach and stuff. Yeah, that was weird. I am a teacher. <laughs> oh, I, I, I like how I've actually never described him before this, but yes, here's a lesson for you. That's what I'm going to call this episode. Lessons from Darius. A lesson is that I'm a teacher and a dentistry person and a deli. But I'm leaving dentistry place to go to deli. Because I got there, I left, I got there at 9. I only do like stuff until like I have to go to the deli. So leave there like, I leave at exactly 11.50 and I'm like, okay. I got plenty of time, everything is good, life is great, leave, pull out into the main road, like not even the main road, it's the, the road that the, the place is on, and I'm driving, and I'm like, oh, there's a guy with a trailer in front of me, I want to catch up to him, then I'm going to slow down, and then I see like cop further down, and he's just like parked in like this, uh, I think it's actually a place where you can practice parkour, I actually want to go into it one day and see what it's all about, because it looks really cool. 
But yeah, I go up there, I pull up, and then the guy, like, I'm like, oh man, I was going like 45. Oh, well, I don't think he's going to care, because it's just like, this road is always empty, and everything's good, and I'm just having a great day, nothing bad can happen. Uh, that's not the case. And I was like, I see his car, like, rev, and he kind of pulls up, and I'm like, is he going to try to stop me right now? And of course... Yes, as soon as I turn, he's like, yep, I'm going to pull him over. Screw everybody. Ha, ha, ha. Pulls me over. Uh, he was cool about it, though. Like, uh, maybe because I was, like, in such a good mood and I was exuding good mood to him. Because uh, I didn't know the speed limit was. Oh, I thought the speed limit was 35 on the road and I was going 45. I was like, oh, I'm going, like, almost 10, like, 10 over. I was like, okay, I'm not going crazy over. But apparently I was going... It's 30, and I was going 45, so I was going 15 over, and I was like, this road needs to be 35 or something. It's not, it's just a regular side road. It's not like, it's, it was ridiculous, really. But that's not the thing, because he only gave me a warning. By the way, it's the first warning I've ever gotten, ever in a ticket. I've got a ticket every year since I've had a license in 2008. Like, from 2008 to 2014, I've got a ticket every single year, I do believe. No, I don't know. I think I've got a, I've had a total of six. So, yes, I think there was one year I didn't get a ticket. I don't know. Maybe the first year. Uh, but, yeah, I got a ticket. I've never gotten a warning ever in my entire life. And I'm like, okay, I'll be nice. And then he gives me a ticket. I'm like, okay, well, fuck it. And just fill out the thing and leave. But he gave me a warning. But I think the only reason he gave me a warning for the speeding is because my tag was expired. Now, my tag was expired because... I have been paying off my car. Like, I finished paying it off in all the end of August. But it was in my mom's name. Like, I just gave her the money, and she, like, paid the thing. Just so if I couldn't pay or something happened, my credit wouldn't be destroyed for the rest of my life. <laughs> but And she could just be like, okay, I'll take care of it. And then you, get, you like, double it up next month, and then I add a little more interest because I'm paying it. But, yeah, um, I've already, I made all the payments, and the car got put in my name. The car got put in my name at the, oh, I just did the top bottle cap. I, the car got put in my name, like, at the end of, the very, the last week of August, I do believe. Uh, I don't remember. I'm not really sure. But, uh, yes, the car got put in my name, and that means, and then all the insurance and everything got put in my name. So that means my birthday is on the 2nd of September. <laughs> and I had to get, I got my, uh, my new tag and everything, like, in August or something. But technically, the tag would be expired because it was last year's tag that I got. So when I got the new tag, it was literally like a couple of weeks before. Like, I got the new tag, and it was a couple of weeks before. But they didn't give me the New Year's tag. They didn't give me the tag for, like, 20, like for till September of 2015. They gave me the tag till September 2014. So my tag was expired. It's been expired for literally months. Just months. Like, it's been expired since September, and I was like, I didn't even know. Like, I don't really look at it like that. I, I actually never look at the back of my car, because just, why would I? <laughs> but, yeah, so, yay, now I get to pay. And then I was love for his little, yeah, you get to pay the late fee and the tickets. So like, okay, yay. So I guess, it's like, the warning kind of kind of doesn't matter if I'm going to have to pay, like, $2,000. Like, two, I say $2,000, but it's going to be, like, it's going to be a couple, a hundred or so dollars in total. And I'm just like, that's dumb, considering I couldn't do anything about it. They didn't send me a thing, because they didn't send me a thing to say, hey, you need to get this done, because normally they would, but it was so close to the other one that, why would they? It's like, you would get a new one right then and there. It's, it's, it's just dumb. And, I, and that annoys me. But, uh, and that... My day has been fantastic. Uh, uh, so I said, I was like, the girl that I, I, I think I'm kind of crushing on is not working. And I think my other friend, she's like a little upset about it because we're kind of we're kind of getting close. But then I was like, I got this crush on this other girl that talked to me like twice. But I've, I don't know, it's weird. But I'm going to let you guys go just because I just spent like at least five, two minutes talking about the ticket thing. And tomorrow's gonna be fun. I'm gonna probably, I'm probably actually gonna tell, uh, record with you very early because I'm gonna try if I get something to eat. Try to go to work, eat, uh, film the vlog, shower, film the vlog, shower, uh, and then go to my friend's house. We gotta edit a lot of pictures, all this stuff, because we're gonna just uh, probably we're not gonna record. We're gonna record like. 
the planning stages of something. It's weird. I don't know. I'm looking over here, and I always actually... I've actually been very good at looking just at the lens, but yes. But I hope you've been fantastic. My mustache has been fantastic. And you guys are more fantastic than my mustache. And look at it. It's the best. I don't... I, I'm, I'm really... It's really grown on me. But... Until next time, I hope you guys have a happy, a healthy, and a fantabulous time and fantabulous weekend. I hope you went to all the Hunger Games. I didn't get to because the only showing was at 8 o'clock, and I got off at 7.30. And what is that? Why would you have one showing and have it at 8 o'clock at night? That's the stupidest thing. I hate it. I hate that they change. The movies can come out before midnight for midnight release. That's the dumbest thing. But until tomorrow, I hope you had a happy and healthy Bye-bye. Peace.